So we will be continuing standard normal distribution. So earlier we have seen that we have converted this to what n0 and 1. So this is only possible when so when we assume something like this z equals to x minus mu upon sigma then only this will become a 0 1 variate. So this is very important. So I'll show you an example of this. So suppose I'm just reading out the question. The length of bolts produced by a machine is normally distributed with mean given as what? Mean is given as 4 and the standard deviation is given as 0.5. A bolt is defective if its length does not lie in the interval. So the bolt is not defective. A bolt is defective if it does not lie in this interval. So for this interval the bolt is the bolt is correct. So the find the percentage of defective bolts produced by the machine. So suppose we consider x to be the length of the bolt. So that is our random variable. So mean as given. So we need first we need to find the probability something like this. So if we subtract this, we will get the required answer. So for that, we just we have seen how to do this. So z we assume. So assume let z as standard normal distribution with x minus mu upon sigma. Now we need to find the values when we will put x equals to 3.8 or z will turn out to be minus 0 0.40. When x equals to 4.3 or z will be 0.6. So, what we see that our probability has changed to something like this P of 3.8. So, this probability has resulted to this transformation. Now, we'll just find the value of this. So, now I'll just show a graph. So, how this will look like. Suppose this is our, our total drawing. So, the normal curve will be something like this. and minus 0 0.40 will lie somewhere here and 0.6 will lie something here and if we find the value of this and subtract this from the from 1 minus something like this so we will get our required answer so for that what we need to do we need to find the value of integration from minus 0 0.40 to 0 0.6 our phi of t and dt something like this so for that the, in the question there will be given values and we need to always assume that the curve is symmetric so the value has been given so according to values and just arranging phi t dt minus so this value is given is 0 0.7257 and if you subtract this if you write something like this then it will be fine and this value has been also given so placing all the values so this value has been given as 0 0.6554 and 3821 so this is the value that the length will lie between 3.8 to 4.3 and we just and we want that the length does not lie so if we minus this by 1 so we will get something as 0.6189 so this is a required answer and suppose if you want to find the percentage we will just multiply this by 100 61.89 or 62 percent approximately so thanks for watching it